So this is the huge artichoke, and it has about half a dozen little pups on it. And with them all together, yeah, they'll grow, but they're not going to produce anything. And they'll do a whole lot better if we separate them out. And um, that way, the focus, each one can focus on their own growth instead of having to worry about the whole clump. Because the mother plant really worries about her little pups. So Stan's going to divide it up. Let me get up in here and I can show you. Here's the one I'm going to get right here. See, we'll start with this one right here. Yeah. And see, we've got that one, then there's one up beside it, and then there's one beside that, and then there's a one around here. And this one's a pretty large one right here. Just like this one here is a pretty large one. So we'll start with this one. Okie dokie. And what he's doing is he's coming up under. He's coming up under. And he'll go try to get under the roots the best that he can. And go in a circle, just like I did with the oregano. It's basically the exact same thing. You just want to get as much root as you can, and you want to disturb them as little as possible. All tangled up. May need to take the shovel back up over on this side, kind of split up the roots a little bit. about artichokes is that they are super hardy they're very easy to transplant we've done it oh those are some really good roots on there and that's what you want yeah, let me get these I'm gonna get two or three at a time now yeah yeah once you get that first one out it kind of frees up a lot of the the root area. You can see this has roots on it. It's not the big clump that these are, but um, that doesn't matter. This, just this right here is plenty enough to root and grow. So here we go. This is the original mother. And now she can flourish. We put some fresh compost around the bottom and uh, got all the leaves that were laying on the ground up and she can flourish and start to grow and give us some artichokes this year. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little pups off of this thing. And one of them is pretty large. A couple of them are good sizes, a couple of them are small. And I have an area back in the chicken run that we're trying to get some life growing. We planted a tree back there. I've got some longevity spinach planted back there. And now I'm going to take this large artichoke 
and see if we can get that growing on back there. I think the girls will really like that. This is a really good size artichoke and when you're transplanting your artichokes you want to take the outer leaves off of it and we took off quite a bit oh nice worms good soil should be with the compost back here and even though we took a lot of the leaves out there's still quite a few and a few may die off but don't let that uh, worry you um, when, if they die off, just clip them off because it grows from the center up and I guarantee you artichokes are very resilient. They will grow. And you know, as long as it's not, you know, a frozen ground, it really doesn't matter what time of year you transplant because we transplanted right at the end of winter. Wasn't it January, Stan? Yeah, we transplanted a couple of them in January, and they're growing really good. Oh, yeah. Yep, water it in, and... So, there you have it. And that's a good sized artichoke. Like I said, we took the outer leaves off and we may lose a couple of the leaves at the you know bottom, but it's gonna grow and it's gonna flourish and I'll show it to you in a couple of months and show you how good it's doing. Now when you first transplant your artichoke, it is going to wilt, but don't worry about it. Just trim off the outer branches and it will perk back up within the next couple of days. I'll show you what it'll look like tomorrow. I'm going to get some mulch and put around this. So the next day they're looking a little better. This one is the one that did not have a lot of roots on it but I planted said it would make it anyway and it's looking really really good. I have this in a pot because uh, well, it didn't have the roots, and so I wanted to pamper it a little bit, but also this is something that I'm going to give away. And I have another one over here in a pot, also doing good, and I'm going to be giving this away too, which is why it's in a pot. Well, there were a couple of the large ones that we transplanted. This is one. It's looking really, really good. And this is about a week later. And there's another one right over here doing really really good you know there's a couple of facts about the artichoke um as with most of your vegetables <laughs> that you grow fresh it is a cancer preventer it's very high in antioxidants it helps maintain your heart health your liver health and surprisingly, it helps prevent birth defects in children because it's very high in folic acid. And that's what a woman who is pregnant really needs high doses of. It's very nutrient dense in magnesium, phosphorus, manganese, which all create bone density. So it helps prevent osteoporosis, gives you strong bones. Now, uh, manganese and magnesium... They're also uh, very good for your metabolism, helping to boost and keep your metabolism up. And phosphorus is found in the brain. So it's very important for your brain health. And um, now, if you're one that makes uh, medicines out of your food and you uh, leaf extract will send oxygen to your brain, leaf extract from the artichoke sends oxygen to your brain so 
Learning how to make medicines from your food is very important. And there's a lot of books and uh, there's even some online resources that you can uh, go to if you're not uh, able to buy books. Now I'm gonna show you the mother plant and how much better she looks after getting all these little pups off. Now here's the mother plant and she looks so much happier and she's all spread out and getting ready to start growing up and give me some artichokes. So artichoke, it's a really easy plant to grow. It's one of the perennials that if you grow this once, you're gonna have it forever. <laughs> because it does send out pups, just like your banana trees. And uh, so you can move it in your garden, you can share it with your neighbors and family. So it's a great thing to have for food. If you don't like the artichoke, it makes some of the biggest, most beautiful flowers. So um, there's another reason to grow the artichoke. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. If you haven't subscribed already, please do give us a like and we hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.